everyone welcome back so in this lab we'll be implementing uh, azure application gateway so let's talk about previous lab what we have done so we have implemented like all the architecture using uh, the json files the rm templates and in the next task we have configured the hub and spoke network topology where we have connected these two and uh, then we have tested the connection between uh, these two vms so vm1 and vm3 and sorry vm0 and vm3 and vm0 and vm2 so this was successful but when we tried to connect from vm2 to vm3 it was unsuccessful because there was no pairing connection so as you can see these connections there is a connection but there is no connection from here then we have uh, configured uh, the routing in the hub and spoke topology where this was acting as a route table so for that we were able to connect through these two so these two were successfully connected after uh, implementing these routes and that we have done this and this and uh, the next stage we have implemented the load balancer so you can see the load balancer in which the backend pools were these two so according to the connections you can see vm0 and vm1 so and we were uh, able to access properly so the load was uh, uh, successfully segregated into these two 0 and 1 so we were tested it in the previous lab and in this lab we'll be implementing the azure application gateway so let's go back and uh, before going to the azure uh, application gateway let's see the definition of what it is so application gateway is a web traffic load balancer that enables uh, you to manage traffic to your uh, web applications so basically based on the incoming url you can segregate the traffic for example if there is two urls let's say image and videos so it we can segregate accordingly to different pools so that is what we can do so saying that let's jump into the video and uh, create the architecture so initially let's go to the virtual networks so let's go to our resource groups let's go to the rg1 and uh, here let's go to the vnet uh, 01 vnet 01 yeah this is the one and uh, under vnet 01 under the settings you can see there is a section called subnets click that and uh, here click add the subnet click that and let's add the name and the subnet range name and uh, the subnet range done and let's everything will be default and let's click save so, so basically you can see this is the application the gateway that we have implemented and the backend pools will be two and three so that is what uh, we'll be performing so for the load balance it was zero and one and for this it will be three and four sorry two and three so it's been saved it's, it's in process so once it is done we have to go to the application gateways so it was successfully added right that's done and let's go to the application gateway you can see there is application gateway section click that and uh, right now we don't have any application gateways so we have to create one so click and uh, select the appropriate subscription and let me add the resource group which is rg1 and uh, come into the application gateway name we add that too and uh, let's keep it as east us because we were dealing with east us all the time and uh, enabling auto scaling which is no in this case and http2 disabled and instance count will be default and uh, coming to the virtual network let's say zero 01 so since it's connected to zero 01 yep yeah so zero 01 and uh, the subnet is this one cool done and let's go to the front end 
and uh, here we have to create one so front end IP let's say it says uh, public and coming to IP we have to create a new one so PIP 4 let's say it's PIP 5 let me add that name and uh, done click OK so it's done the next will be the backend pools so if I go to the backends next and right now we don't have any so let's add the backend pools so the name of the backend pool so let's add that name here and uh, add the backend pool without the target okay it's no and uh, the target type yeah IP yeah this is the one and coming to address let's keep it as uh, this one so these are the IP addresses of uh, 2 and 3 I mean the VM2 and VM3 so we can uh, you can cross check them so you can see 62.04 so if you go back here if you go back to the resource group I would say leave it all apply so if I go back to the VM let's go to VM2 you can see it's 62.04 so 62.04 and uh, this is VM2 so if you check VM3 so VM3 is 63.04 so it's good so you can uh, click add so once it's done let's go to the configurations and under the routing rules add this routing rule and uh, here let's add the names add and uh, the priority will be 10 which is the topmost right now and uh, the listener name let me add that and the front end IP would be the public and the HTTP 80 basic no yeah can add it shit oh we have this one coming to backend targets so target type would be backend pool and uh, the backend target would be the is it b1 which is the backend pool that has been created and uh, it's nothing. so backend settings we have to create one because uh, even that is a mandatory here so we have to click add and uh, coming to the backend uh, name so add this so guys just make sure that uh, the names are different if you check the docs uh, the naming is different so here it says backend settings name but uh, if you check the docs it's http settings name so well there are some like naming configurations which is quite different so make sure that uh, whenever you are doing lab uh, you are in a correct uh, you know uh, dashboard so 80 disable disable 20 that should be fine I'll just leave it everything and click add so click add well that is done so we have added it and uh, so next if you go for the tags you can add any tags if you want but uh, in this case I'm not adding them and uh, let me go ahead and review and create it so the validation has been passed because uh, there was no uh, policy that has been uh, restricting this so we are good to go you can create it <coughs> So it's in process. Meanwhile, uh, deployment process. Meanwhile, let's go back here. So let's click the application gateway. And uh, 
we have created this so now let's copy the front end IP here okay let's click this and let's copy from here where is it there you go so this is the IP and uh, it's still updating so let's wait deployment is in process so meanwhile uh, so this was using the load balancer that we have done so it was as you can see it was from vm1 and vm2 so this is a different ip which is uh, for the application gateway i hope this has been created let's see so it's still loading so it's in process so similarly as you can see here we'll be prompting to the same message but in this case in the previous video when we were trying it was one and zero so other one was in the incognito mode which we tried it so I guess I deleted in between so this was one and that was zero because uh, the backend pools for that uh, load balancer was zero and one so it was segregating based on these two uh, virtual machines and uh, coming to this application gateway if you see uh, for this application gateway we have connected to VM2 and VM3 so now the message will be from 2 and 3 so that is it still in deployment process let me see take some time though updating updating okay so well it has been deployed properly it has been completed so if I go back here, let's, yeah, now it's good. So let me go back here and uh, oh shit, this is not the IP, this is for the other one. Let me delete this and let me paste. So let me copy this, paste, done. So you can see now we have redirected to VM2. So vm2 is this one which we added as a backend pool and uh, when there is a like more request it will go into the vm3 so that is what uh, it is so we were uh, able to successfully implement it. so you can see it has been changed so vm2 to vm3 it was able to change it according to the load so we were able to implement successfully so we have implemented azure application gateway successfully so hope you guys have understood the concept of uh, how to configure the application gateway and to implement this architecture so if you like the video please click in like below and if you want to subscribe to my channel please do subscribe to my channel and if you have any doubts please do in the comment section and if you have any suggestions also please do in the comment section and uh, if uh, please share the video thank you